Welcome to day 19 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to use the event viewer to debug business central errors. So when you open the event viewer, you'll have Windows logs and you have an application site, security setup, system and further events. So what you're most interested in for business central is this application site. So any error that will be generated by the application, be it a connection error, an error to connect to SQL Server, or um, any other error that is permission related that might not be displayed on your business central, you, the event viewer will give you the most accurate information about what the error is. Okay, on opening event viewer, it can be a little bit tedious. Uh, it looks uh, the user interface is okay just like an event and uh, you have so many logs eh, of everything in the application but how can you be able to zero down to the error that is having uh okay the error that is causing your problem without wasting a lot of time so when you open the event viewer you just search on your windows click on event viewer open applications and then there is on your um right side there is a filter current log so when you click on filter current log so it will give you an option for the logs you say anytime last hour last 24 hours and whichever period so mostly you'll be having something in the last hour and you can say any error that has been generated in the last hour and you click on ok so we have already zeroed down into errors that have been generated within the last hour. So this is an instance of uh, a vision that I'm having in the central. I don't know which version it is. I think I installed it some time back. But when you look at the error, you see that they cannot establish connection to SQL Server. So SQL Server is not. This could be due to the following reasons: the SQL Server is not started. The database does not exist, and proper permission have not been given to the Nav Service account. So it's giving us an option of the errors that could be there. And there's a log name, the, uh, and then the source, which application is it? And uh, event ID and all that and all that. We still can be able to drill down even further after saying that we are, want an error related to anything which is an error. The source of the application. So is it, uh, let's say Microsoft Dynamics Nav Server, just move there. Yeah, you can choose Microsoft Dynamics Nav Server that is causing the, the error. So if I select the Microsoft Dynamics Nav Server, select and see. Boom, there's no uh, Nav Server that is having an error, but we could be having an error specific to an instance of that particular Nav Server within the last hour. So this is something that you can play around with and filter. I insist on filtering because if you don't filter, you'll get so many logs depending on the number of applications that you're running and it might confuse you. You might not know what the error is. You might not know what the real problem is and it's not a good thing to be facing. So always and always filter to get the best out of the event. And again, if you get the event you can google search it and be able to know what the problem is or you can just debug it by yourself and solve your problem so that's it for, that's it for this video i will see you in day 20 of 30 days of el see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one